Previously, I created a video to show you how to have your grid gallery captions appear over top your images on Hover. But a lot of things have changed since I created that video, and some of the updates I did for light boxes and click through links are not working anymore. And so here is an updated video for how to get your grid gallery captions to appear on Hover in Fluid Engine. If you're new here, my name is Rebecca Grace from Rebecca Grace Designs, and I help you push past the limitations of the Squarespace editor using code. So let's jump in. So here I'm working in Squarespace 7.1, and as I scroll down, you can see I have this grid gallery and I have captions underneath, but I want the captions to show up as I hover over top of each image. So the very first thing you're going to do is to add your gallery. So open up the page that you want the gallery on. You're going to click to add a section, and under images on the side, you're gonna select one of the grids. You can click on edit gallery here and you're gonna add in all of your images and any captions you want them to have. Then under edit section, you want to make sure that grid simple is selected. You can choose how wide you want it to go, the aspect ratio columns and spacing, but make sure that you have captions turned on and you can also choose to have a light box as well. Then you're going to click done and save. And now we need to add your code, your CSS, in order to get these to work on Hover. So you're going to go to Design, Custom CSS, and copy and paste the code listed below this video. And click Save. You should now see that when you go over top of your image, you have your caption appear. Now a few things in the code that you may want to change. The first is the color of this background. So I have it go to like a transparent black. That is set right here. It's called the overlay color. So this is an RGB code and then the A is for alpha or this last number here which sets the opacity. So 000 stands for black and then 0.4 is how see-through I want. The more see-through you want it, the closer you're going to get to zero. So if I tap it as zero, you're not going to see any. Um, and the more opaque you want it, the closer you want to be to one. So now this one's just going to be solid black. So you can set the color as well as the opacity of that color. Then down here is going to be the spacing of this text. So I have it centered vertically and horizontally. If I want it at the top, I'm going to choose flex start. And if I want it at the bottom, I'm gonna choose flex end. And then from left to right, if I want it on the left, I'm going to choose flex start. And if I want it on the right, I'm gonna choose flex end. Then you can also set the size and the color of that caption. If you have a really large caption like this, you'll see it goes right to the end. You may choose to add in some padding. So in this section, you can use padding, let's say one VW for instance, and it will add some padding around it so that it doesn't go outside of that. Now, if you have a super, super large caption that is going to spill outside the image, unfortunately, there's not much you can do about that because it has to try and fit it in. And so make sure that the captions you're using fit well on your image. I wouldn't suggest having a huge caption here. The last thing you may want to add is a light box. So if you have a light box turned on, then there's a little bit of extra code you'll need to have in order for the light box to continue working. So you're going to copy and paste the code listed below this video for the light box and then click save. And there's nothing inside of here you should have to change, but now you'll see that I have that magnifying glass pop up and so I can still use my light box here. Now, what about click-through links? You're like, hey, I have click-through links, but they no longer work. The first thing you need to know is you cannot have a click-through link and a light box at the same time. They're both click events, and so you can't have more than one click event happening at once. So if your light box isn't working, it's possibly because you have a, a link set on your image, um, and so that's preventing your light box from working. 
If you do want a click through link instead of a light box, there is some JavaScript code you'll need to use in order to basically duplicate that link onto this overlay. Um, and that requires a little bit more JavaScript. That code is available for my Encyclopedia of Code members. And so I'll provide a link above here where you can learn more about how you can get access. Alternatively, you can turn this caption into a link. So if I didn't want a light box, but I want a click through link, then what I'm going to do is come inside this page. I'm going to turn my light box off and I'm going to edit my gallery. So instead of putting the link in here, you're going to use this caption as the link. So you're gonna do something like this, where you have an open link tag. So in code, a link is an A, and then I have the actual link itself and a closing link tag. And in between that, you can put the text that you want to turn into a link. So this is a caption. When they click on that, it will now go to this link. So once you're happy with it, you can close and save. And now you should see when you hover over top, this has become a link. You can see the pointer. And when I click on that, it will take me to my link. You'll notice that it is a bit of a gray. That's because that's the color the links are on this site. So what you can do is add a little bit more CSS to the bottom that has gallery caption A, and then the color of that link, and you'll see it's now white. You should now see your captions appear as you hover over top the image. If you like this tutorial, check out my Squarespace CSS playlist where you can see a ton more effects that you can do in Squarespace using code.